Welcome to Japanese History in 3 Minutes. I'm Teacher Sad, a national government licensed guide interpreter living in Hokkaido, Japan. Today's episode is about the Taika reform. Let's take a look at how the Yamato government aims to become a centralized state amid the turbulent situation in East Asia. In 618, the Tang Dynasty unified China and created a powerful empire. On the Korean Peninsula, there were three countries, Kogiro, Silla, and Beguche. When the Tang Dynasty began to attack Kogiro, the situation in East Asia became tense. The Yamato government received information about the international situation from students and monks who returned from China and decided to reform its domestic politics and to create a strong centralized state. However, to carry out this reform, it was necessary to overthrow the Soga clan, which controlled the emperor and monopolized the politics. In 645, Prince Nakano Oe and Nakatomi no Kamatari staged a coup d'etat. They succeeded in assassinating Soga no Iruka, who was the most powerful man at the time. The political reform that started from this event is called the Taika Reform. The new government adopted the name Taika for the new era. The imperial court then issued an imperial decree of revision to clarify the new political policy, including the direct control of the land and the people. When Bekuje was destroyed by the combined forces of the Tang Dynasty and Silla, Prince Nakano Oe sent an army to the Korean Peninsula to help Bekuje recover, but was defeated. He ascended the throne and became Emperor Tenji and proceeded with the reform. When Emperor Tenji died, a war broke out between his child and his younger brother over the position of the successor. This was the Jinshin War. The younger brother, who won the battle, became Emperor Tenmu. He used his great power to push for reforms. After the death of Emperor Tenmu, his empress became Empress Jito and took over the reforms. She built Fujiwara Kyo, the first advanced capital in Japan. After the abdication of Empress Jito to his grandson, Emperor Monmu, the Taiho Ritsuryo, or the Taiho Code, was enacted in 701, modeled after the code of the Tang Dynasty. And a centralized state with an emperor at its center was finally established. Short summary First, the Yamato government aimed to establish a centralized state amid the turbulent situation in East Asia. Second, Prince Nakano Oe seized the political power and began a political reform centered on the emperor. Third, the emperors who followed him completed the reform, and a centralized state was finally established in Japan. Thank you for watching. I hope you are interested in the history of Japan. I hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.